Hi there, I'm Nathan. I'm an assembly technician at Chapman Machinery. Um, today we're going to run through a blade change of an RM machine. Before we start, we'll just go through the tools that are required. So we've got one container of Loctite. We have a 17mm ratchet and socket. We also have a torque wrench and a 16mm socket and a 17mm spanner. We also have a small block of wood and a piece of rag, which is required for when we tip the machine. So what we'll do is first, on the machine, we go and we turn the fuel tap off, which is down the side here. So if you twist it towards you, that is now the fuel off. Next job we're going to do is we're going to remove one of the belt guards. To remove the belt guard, we require a 17 mil spanner. So all we're going to do is loosen the front and back bolts. We use the ratchet. We're going to remove the small side bolt completely and then this guard just pulls straight off. Next job we need to do is get a bit of rag and just put on the rear guard just in case any fuel drips out of the carburetor. Next job we're going to do is we're going to hopefully with two of you is lift it up So you can now see the blades underneath. What we're going to do with a piece of wood is we're going to put it in between the belt and the drive and then just pull on the blade to tighten it up. So, what we need to do next is get the 16 mil socket onto your ratchet and we're going to loosen the bolt. Okay, completely remove the bolt and the washer. What we do recommend is, if the blade ever comes loose on the machine, you get in contact with us and get a new washer and bolt. To put this back together, all we're gonna do is do it in reverse. So we put the new nut and washer on we put Loctite on the thread. To make sure your blade is the correct way, you need the flat cutting part down away from the body. So all we're gonna do now is put the nut bolt back in. One thing as well to watch out for is that the blade actually sits on the part that is stuck out. So what we need to do next as well is move the piece of wood and put it into the reverse part of the belt. What we need to do is we need to torque the, belt, the bolt back up we recommend 50 Newton meters on a torque wrench to do this. As you can see, the torque wrench is gone. So that is now the blade fully replaced onto the machine. 
All we're going to do now is replace the belt guards. You can now remove your rag off the rear guard. So the put guard on. Before you tighten up the two bolts on the sides, make sure you put the end bolt in first. Okay, and last but not least, make sure that you turn your petrol back on before you try to start.